Hello everyone, I am Retro and today I want to talk to you about uh, daily drawing. In fact, oct October just happened, I ho hope everyone knows October happened. More importantly, October is the month when Inktober was going on for uh, quite some years now and it's a kind of a movement for you to draw every day and last year because Inktober is super popular last year Bruno Moraes came up with Octobit which is a pixel art version or alternative to Inktober because why not draw pixel art or something like that every day as well instead of just inks and uh, it was uh, was pretty nice last year but super popular this year so I've done an article in Retronator magazine about it uh, where you can see there was like I, I made a tool that actually looked at all of the entries and I had even just on Twitter alone I'm pretty sure I missed something but it was already over almost 1500 way over a thousand entries from a hundred artists and I'm definitely missing some so it was super popular and I also did it and I did all 31 days and yeah, if you want to just look at what other, if you want to look at cool art that other people did, go to Retronator Magazine, I'm going to leave the link in the description. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to, you're going to see, as you can already see, uh, time lapses from my own little entries that I did. And yeah, I finished all 31 days, not everyone did, actually most people don't, didn't, some had very good intentions to do it, but didn't uh, manage it, and a lot of people did came up to like 25 or something like that I probably just a dozen or maybe two dozen people actually finished the full 31 thing uh, so I wanted to share with you a little bit of my thoughts on daily drawing or how I was able to do that everything that just kind of came out of this practice so first of all you really gotta commit to it like you gotta if you are actually to do this and finish uh, you gotta commit and, th and that's why I mean like a lot of when I was reading people's tweets it was like oh yeah maybe I'll do this this year or you know there's no maybe it's kind of like Yoda it's like do not try just you have to do it's I guess that's easier said than done so what helps is to really know why you are doing it that, that's when it's gonna make sense so for me uh, as I think most of you know I'm making a video game about learning how to draw called Pixel Art Academy and so I really wanted to kind of prove to myself yeah I can actually do that like I if I'm gonna say I'm gonna tell people hey you should draw every day because uh, that's how you get a lot of experience done so if I want to be able to do that and not even able to do it myself like that would be a problem so I wanted to prove to myself yeah I can stick with it for a month so you can decide if you for example want to make a project out of it for example some people did um, there was one project where they did movie posters every day so they kind of had their theme going on uh, there was one project that was done in watercolors so that's also kind of an interesting way to okay so every day you know you're, you're not deciding what you're gonna do you just okay I'm doing a watercolor a painting of something so you kind of have your unifying theme to to guide you uh, for me in Octobit it was uh, I was just testing, I was talking a lot about, you can see my tutorials from previous months, about uh, dithering, so I was trying out this technique called HD index painting that I made a video about, and I wanted to play around more with it, so that was kind of my theme, okay, I'm gonna do a, a lo-fi drawing every day, uh, like a lo-fi digital art 32 by 240 painting. And later on I actually switched it a little bit around, I did I still mostly did this kind of lo-fi paintings like if I didn't have any better idea that was always kind of my fallback that's what I'm gonna do and if I did any other ideas I, I switched it up so uh, somewhere in the middle I decided to do uh, there was this adventure game in, on the ZX Spectrum called the Smurfs and I wanted to do hey I could do a remake of it uh, for the it was the ZX Spectrum adventure I wanted to do a ZX Spectrum next remake and it was super easy like there were really small illustrations and I really enjoyed it and I can easily I could easily pick this as a one of as a as a project it's also this way when I'm doing my huge pixel art pieces like maybe some of you've seen uh, like I do this isometric or this kind of huge CD pieces sometimes and in that time it's also the same kind of a thing it's so you want to get a, as much thinking out of the equation up ahead so when you're deciding okay I'm gonna do this every day try and plan it out not maybe plan it out in advance but just 
have your fall like if you don't want to think about it have no, just something that you know okay I'm just gonna do this and get it out of the way um, you know if you come to some of those days when you're just uh, I wish I didn't have to do it so it's all about so it's a lot about kind of self-awareness what are you trying to achieve with this and there are also many formats that might you know fit you better when it comes to this kind of daily drawing stuff so first of all we have pixel dailies on Twitter where every day they give you a theme of something to draw on then we have on pixel joint we have weekly challenges so you know if you wanna just if you wanna have a wider window and you, it's a project it's not a daily project but it's a weekly project like okay I'm gonna do one painting per week and I've done that in the past. I have made uh, portraits of uh, with pencils when I did one pencil portrait every week. And I've done that for like, I think, 17 weeks uh, straight. And another one is the Octobit because Octobit is kind of like Pixel Dailies, but it's all condensed into one month and you, it's a much clearer goal. Another thing that can help you out in terms of making it as easy as possible for yourself is to if you just have experience with what kind of art styles are going to be the easiest to deal with. And so for example I found out that ZX Spectrum, which has just like eight colors and some other limitations, um, it's actually quite easy to do if you just do these big illustrations. It's a little bit more harder when you're trying to get into details and fit everything in, but if you're just trying to do one huge piece uh, illustration, I've done two of them during Octobit, it's actually not that hard. You know, you have limited colors, there's not that much. You use the limitation to kind of your advantage, so you go for simpler stuff. Other people have found the same thing if they with the Game Boy palette, it's just four colors. Some people have gone completely black and white, and I've also done a couple of portrait pieces in that style. Other people have chosen different kind of templates. So for example, some people just do a single character, and these people that do pixel dailies know this very well. Like you, they just pick up an item and they do it and they put a nice little background behind it and they call it done. Like people that try and do full scenes are usually the people that go in trouble or maybe just do one per month. People that want to do it on a daily basis, they usually go for something small and just experiment, you know, in those little small constraints. It's also easier if it's something that you kind of naturally want to do that makes you feel good. Oftentimes I recommend, okay, daily drawing to beginners because you just want to get that much work done. As you're a beginner, you just need to put that much work in. But you can't really sustain very focused, deliberate practice that takes a lot of thinking and analyzing of your work you know it's not inherently maybe that much just it's not relaxing to put it one way it's a strain on you you gotta put real effort so it's not gonna be the easiest thing to convince yourself to do after you come home from work and you're like oh okay let's do a daily drawing it's definitely easier if you pick something that you already know that you find just kind of enjoyable relaxing uh, and pixel art in general is Actually, I find it oftentimes just kind of tedious and mechanical, and sometimes that's good because you know you just I just put on a TV show if I'm doing the characters for big works, like I said before. But oftentimes you're gonna be able, you know, especially if you're good, trying to do like whole image from start to finish, it's not maybe the most kind of relaxing natural process, at least not to me. And so this time I decided, okay, I'm gonna go for HD index painting because I tested it out and it's much more relaxing in terms it's kind of like it kind of just flows you just kind of mess around with it it's kind of you know it's painting instead of drawing and so I just get to enjoy it I was actually looking forward to oh hey I'm just gonna try and paint, paint this uh, image today and so there was another day when I decided when I it was the theme was I think isolation and I just kind of in my head I saw this uh, labyrinth that I want to do and I realized okay this is gonna look crap if I do it with painting this will actually look way better if I do proper pixel art like very more technical because I wanted to get perspective and everything right you like if you try to digitally paint that it's not gonna end up that well and that's when I saw that well that's exactly why I can do pixel dailies because I get an idea like that and I try to make a real pixel art painting out of it and then it takes me three hours 
to get all of the you know nice details because as soon as you have something really detailed and precise like you the whole image gotta be that way there are some people that do very well with more kind of impressionistic pixel art painting style like there's tail crafter on on twitter that has really cool pieces like that but uh, and is able to pull it off even without cleaning and tightening everything up uh, so I guess that's a little bit different style, it really depends what you're going after. Uh, but for me, like, I just, in this style, I just could not pull off having some parts of it just kind of not flashed out. So yeah, so this was a problem if I wanted to actually finish this project. If I, if I just every day I went on and like it took me three hours, like this is something I would not be able to sustain, not next to, you know, having a job in the, in meaning that, you know, I work on Pixel Art Academy or other Retronator stuff every day. I definitely can't afford spending three hours of my day on personal drawing. It quite might work for you, let's say that you're an art student, that's completely possible, but not necessarily for somebody that has a job and just tries to do drawing in their meantime. So, with that said, it's really helpful to put yourself on a time limit. I knew this kind of in advance that that's going to be a problem, so I took like an hour of my time. I decided, okay, I'm going to spend an hour on each piece. And, you know, I was not super strict about it. Uh, sometimes even just such searching for references would take me 15 minutes, half an hour. Another thing that's, you know, maybe not the best thing you can do but uh, you know sometimes it did and then I would spend an hour just painting. I also had to let myself kind of go in terms of not be perfectionistic and just as soon as like one hour is done I, I was just okay that's it's good enough like I needed to let myself feel like it's good enough once that one hour was up and so it really helped me to think of this works more like a sketch so if something that's unfinished, uh, just kind of a start of an exploration, it's an idea, but it's not necessarily finished, so I really wouldn't worry about if things don't turn out that well after an hour or whatever limit you set up to, like, it's going to turn out, like, some things are gonna turn out like crap, like, I've done things here that I'm really not... Uh, proud of I guess and it's not something that I would post on DeviantArt uh, to put in my portfolio or anything like that so maybe sometimes I would post it on Twitter or Instagram but not like in my gallery and actually what turns out is that as always you are so much harder on yourself and people get an enjoyment out of it even if not everything is perfect even if you see a hundred mistakes or even if you could work on it three more hours and tighten it up a little bit you know people scroll past look at it for two seconds they see oh this is cool and then they go on it's not that big of a deal I think it's way more important that you actually don't let go like that you don't miss a day actually I've missed days myself and I cheat by okay just kind of catching up to it and I don't feel a zero like a I don't feel a bit bad about that I think that's completely legit but I do want to keep this streak going even in the days when you're like there was one day when I was ready to go to sleep I was tired and then oh shit I didn't do my stuff yet for today and then I took my iPad into bed and just drew this little shitty image of a teenager smoking on a bench with ugly fugly colors and it was just something that I've done and I knew that okay it's I'm not gonna post it anywhere I just did it to kind of stick with the streak sometimes that's also important and I felt good about it which is also something that I should stress about and I always say you should kind of reward yourself like every day when you finish something really be happy with yourself hey you finished it pat yourself on the back make yourself feel good because that's how habits kind of reinforce themselves you know that you're gonna if you're if every day brings you some dissatisfaction it's naturally not going to be something you would want to stick with but if it's something that you are happy with yourself uh, you're gonna have motivation to do it next time it's just normally that way and that's why I also like if you put yourself on easier goals so draw every day but it doesn't matter if you just draw for five minutes and draw something shitty because you can get that done every day and if you're in advance allow 
yourself to do that and you know you're gonna feel happy with yourself even if you've just done a crappy image in five minutes then that's gonna make you feel good and you'll find yourself if you do all of this you'll find that yeah your quality will vary but and I've seen this with many others on Octobit there will be days even for complete beginners that had like if, if I look at their whole 31 day set like it's obvious that they're beginners it's mostly work nobody would lose too much sleep over seeing on Twitter um, however there's a piece or two or five that actually stand up above all of the kind of the medium the average of all the pieces so you never know when it might kind of surprise you what you're able to do there's always these kind of moments of genius that bring you much above your level of what you would n normally do and when you find a moment like that just go for it like really take it as a you know it, there are these kind of gems and it sometimes it takes uh, it's totally worth it to polish it so for example I did this coral reef uh, and I knew that I wanted it to make it for pixel art academy so I knew it was dear to my heart and I felt zero bad about like I just knew okay I'm gonna actually work on this and I did it for like three or four hours and it was it turned out to be the best piece at least the one that I was most happy about of the whole set and yeah and when you find something like that yeah go put in the time because you're gonna be super happy about yourself and you know you can do next on the next day you can do the five minute crappy one which I pretty much what happened the next day so yeah that's kind of my octobit experience I hope you didn't mind my a little bit more ranty or I guess informal way to go about it I know usually my videos are super tight and packed and everything but I wanted to do one where I just kind of sit down and talk about all of this stuff and kind of my takeaways I actually found out that I don't actually like drawing that much for its own sake I really like more when I draw for a project so when I was doing the a couple of pieces here for pixel art Academy that I know were connected to the game I really put more time in and I kind of I was super happy with myself um, the Smurfs project was another example. I really love doing that. I, I'm actually very tempted to finish that and make it into an actual thing, but of course I'm not going to because I have other priorities like Pixar Art Academy. Uh, but, but I definitely know that that would be something for me to enjoy and something that I could easily get myself on track if I wanted to do every day. Just like all of the big illustrations that I've done that, that you know took me 200 hours and so that's a lot of evenings of three hours every day, two, three hours every day. And it's just, it, you fall into this rhythm and it just feels good. I like these kind of projects uh, compared to, you know, getting a random team and, team and coming up with it and just doing a, doing a practice, like a study, a copy of some other painting or just trying to come up with a composition or something. Yeah, I don't really care about that much. And that's what I uh, kind of learned through this project. And, you gotta be fine with yourself like I said it's about knowing yourself and finding whatever works for you that's kind of the most important I think getting out of it but I did feel this uh, sense of achievement getting out of Octobit that was kind of my goal to see okay can I do it do I know how to do it if I decide to okay I'm gonna draw for 31 days and I did and so it's this kind of a testament to my willpower yes I have come to a place where I can you know kind of hack hack myself that's what you're kind of trying to do a lot it's you know practicing every day is a skill in itself so it's something or or getting yourself motivated is a skill in itself or knowing yourself you know what are you how to achieve your goals these are all kind of skills in themselves and so the more you you can also kind of practice them so here I wanted to practice hey can I actually do a one month project if I decide to and so I did and that's a very nice thing to be able to say hey yeah I can do this um, so yeah that's my Octobit experience as always I post updates about uh, work on Pixar Academy and Retronator on my Patreon you you're super f welcome to just come and follow me there you'll get emails and then if you decide to support that's also very generous and I'm super appreciative of you and everyone that's already doing that thank you so much for being my patrons and for everyone that's just watching the videos and liking and commenting and all that I really really appreciate it I always look forward to 
seeing you in the comments and then having a conversation about it and so yeah thank you very much for watching this and i will see you next time